What is up, YouTube? G Dickens back. We're doing the review of the Ultron Pen 3. Uh, we did the unboxing video, and I'm going to give you guys my first, second, and third, and fourth, and fifth, and sixth. And up to ten shots. I, I did ten tattoos with this thing. Um, I figured out what I really like it for, and I figured out what I really didn't like it for. So, uh, let's get to it, guys. So starting with the build quality of the tattoo machine, um, the build quality honestly isn't that bad. Um, I really enjoy the the weight of it. I enjoy how it, it's very comfortable in your hand. Um, the metal that's used for it um, seems pretty sturdy. I love the finish of it. It's like a matte black finish. Um, one of my complaints is the buttons do feel a little bit chintzy. Also, when you go to hit volume, I'm sorry, volume. When you go to hit your volts up and down, it seems sometimes it doesn't register. Um, the way that you want it to. You go to hit the power button and it'll either volt up or volt down sometimes just because it's all connected. It's like one tandem bar. So like if you don't push directly right dead center, um, the, vo the volts, I keep saying fucking volume, but the volts tend to want to go up or down. You know what? I'm saying that even wrong. It's fucking in hertz. Um, but you guys get the point. Going between hertz and volts all the time gets a little confusing. But this machine is actually ran in hertz. Um, which is pretty much essentially the amount of hits, which it makes it easier to gauge when you're going from machine to machine to go in hertz. But um, with that being said, if you go to turn the machine on, like as you've seen here, I'm gonna come around here real quick. I'm just gonna click the power button on. If I go to click the power button off, I'm, li I'm literally on the same button. I'm on the middle button, but this is actually the button. So you got button here, button here, button here. If I go to click the power button, it does work, but sometimes it wants to volt, like uh, go up and down on the hertz or volts. So this is, I'm turning the volts down. I really don't like running my machines typically with no cartridges, but this is just for video purposes. Um, so I'm gonna click it on, boom, and I'm not gonna move my finger. And I'm going up on hertz. It's the same button. So unless if you push it really hard, it registers as a, button for the hertz to go up i don't really like that but it happens um it's one of the one of those things you kind of get used to i think um, not that you have to get used to at this price range but that's why i'm making these reviews so you guys have a complete fully understanding um this is the 4.2 of the ultron pen you can get the ultron pen i believe in three different strokes um i really don't mind this machine uh it's not my ideal tattoo machine for like soft shading, getting tones, because like it's like a right now machine. So I found heavy use for it when I would do like bold lines, packing black, color packing, things like that. I found it to be an amazing machine, like absolutely incredible, actually. Um, one of the frustrating things that was going on while I was using the tattoo machine is it has a feature that when you're running the machine and you set it down, it's supposed to, like, it's supposed to sense that no movement and cut off. So sometimes if you're pulling like a really steady line, the machine will actually shut off on you, which that started driving me absolutely nuts. Um, and that's one of the main reasons why I don't see myself going to this machine um, kind of as a daily driver because of that reason specifically. So the buttons really don't have anything to do with it. It was mainly, it was, it's mainly the feature that I seem not to be able to shut off on this. I don't know if there is a way, maybe Vlad Black can comment in the bottom here and let us know if there's a way to shut that feature off. It doesn't really work the best, um, at least in my case. So I, I, like I said, I use this just under a dozen times, about 10 tattoos, um, some tattoos being larger, some tattoos being a little bit smaller. Like I said, the, the machine runs like a monster when it comes to bold lines and a monster when it comes to packing color or solid black. I struggled a little bit getting some softer tones with it um, because it, it's like a right now tattoo machine. You can't really build up tones or anything like that with it. In my case, I'm not saying for everybody, it's just for my case. So everybody, all you Vlad Vlad fans, um, I don't blame you guys for being Vlad Vlad fans. They're, they definitely have their 
they definitely have their spot in the market. Honestly, it is um, an incredible tattoo machine. Um, I definitely enjoyed using it. Uh, not so much for black and grays, but again, for all the reasons listed. Uh, my only two complaints on this machine are going to be the quality of the buttons and most, and this is the most of the complaints on it, would be the feature of where it's supposed to be running. You're supposed to like, hey, what's up, bro? Just set it down and the motor cut off. And then you go like this and the motor cuts back on. Um, that feature um, would be super cool if it actually worked the way um, I believe it was intended to work. Uh, because like I said, you could, if you're pulling like a really, really smooth line and you're just kind of, and you're just, you're going with it, and that motor senses that feature that it, of it's not being moved, it shuts off in the middle of the tattoo and that started to piss me off a little bit. But other than that, that is my review and my opinion on the Vlad Ultron 3. If any of you guys have any specific questions regarding this tattoo machine, just shoot it down in the comment box. Let me know. Um, I'm down to answer any questions um, regarding it. If you guys want to see me use a tattoo machine, I'm down to make some, some reviews on that as well. That being said, it's G Dickens. Like, subscribe, share. Appreciate you guys.